What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome. We finally have some new updates and news on eFootball 2024. Okay, so we're going to be going through it. Shout out to Daniel Hassery and at Gamer Matters as well as Southeast Asia IGN, which we'll get to in a second when we'll read the interview there and the little feature that they did. Um, but they talk about a new event that was on uh, for a couple of people that played the game, right? They said that they had boots on the ground, they were on site at this Malaysia event, um, and we'll talk about that in a second, right? We are also going to show you a couple of things that I wanted. I want to talk about a couple of things as to where I want eFootball24 to go, and I want your opinions. I mean, obviously, um, I do sometimes look for feedback, so that is exactly what I want. I want you guys, um, you, we'll, we'll talk about it in a second, but I want you to give me some feedback after watching this video. Watch it, let me know what you think, and then basically give me your feedback as to whether you, you know, want certain things in the game or what way. I think the best thing is about flow, lads. That's the most important thing in a football game is flow. Attack to defense, space being rewarded, being able to dribble, being able to quicken the pace, and being able to balance all of that, right? But we will get into it, okay? So I'm going to read out this interview from IGN Southeast Asia. And it said that this is a few things, here are a few things that we discovered about the upcoming eFootball24 uh, game release uh, from the media preview, okay? So, following eFootball 22's less than stellar launch, Konami's pulling all the stops out to make eFootball 24 a great game to regain the support of longtime fans. eFootball rebranded from the original PES series, first released on the 30th of September 2021. Seems like a long, long time ago now. During an event held today at the Battle Arena in Malaysia, the Konami development team provided in-depth explanations about the game's groundbreaking features, beautiful visuals, and unique gameplay mechanisms that distinguish eFootball24 from its rivals. They also assured fans that they will be constantly improving eFootball and welcome feedback from the players. That is exactly it. I want to hear your feedback from it and to see what you like and don't like about eFootball2023. And we're going to give you a couple of examples in this video as well, okay? In a speech, the development team said eFootball aims to connect users with fellow football fans, professional football players, and even influencers. So that is, again, very interesting how they're talking about this, right? We'll get to that again. The highlight of the event was a celebrity super match, right? That doesn't really matter too much because there's no gameplay shown. It says that there were also game stations for attendees to get first-hand experience on the unreleased console and mobile versions of eFootball24, which provide a glimpse at what the gameplay is going to look like, right? So you can just see people playing here, and it said that the development team also said eFootball24 will be released in September, though the exact release date has not been confirmed yet. Now, this is a one talking point before we get back to this article. We know on the official website, of the official Konami website, that they will be performing the large-scale maintenance in preparation for eFootball24, and that is due to commence on the 4th of September. So whether that's going to be the 4th of September, all the way for a seven day week and it's going to be you know the 11th of september that we get eFootball 2024 or else they're going to try and get that at the 7th or the 8th for the thursday or the friday so the first week of september the first big maintenance of september could start the 4th and end the 7th or it could start the 4th and end the 11th it depends how um much they've already kind of like carried over and what they're going to be carrying over in it. But we know it's going to be a large scale maintenance because they have said that that will be announced at a later date. So they will definitely give us an update on whether that's going to be, you know, a four day maintenance, a three day maintenance or whatever it is that we're going to have, like a week maintenance, right? I reckon if I had to guess, I, I think the Thursday launch from what they've always done, every single update that we've had, a large scale maintenance has dropped on a Thursday. So I reckon that's probably the date if I had to guess that they'll try and get everything for the seventh um which would be the thursday but here's hoping here's hoping that we do get that because that would mean that we'd have eFootball 2024 um launching then right but as i said right when they're talking about different things here and they talk about the development and stuff right i want to show you a couple of examples here of what i'm talking about and i want your opinions on it in the comments below okay so i'm going to show you here right so the first thing i'm going to show you is a video from an earlier version of eFootball 2024, and it's something that I want to see come back, is the attack flow. And what I mean by that is being able to curl shots and finesse shots, right? When you have something like this, this is from eFootball 2022. All these clips you see here are from eFootball 22, right? You will see the amount of curl shots and finesse shots that you could do outside the box, inside the box, whatever you wanted to do. There was so much opportunity for you to be able to do that. And while I think they've added it, right, in the last update, they've actually added it that they've really started to reward tight pockets of space and little tricks and the responsiveness has been a bit more fluid. I would still like to see that extended to outside the box, right? Messi at the moment is an absolute demon at just scoring these little pockets of space shots, is what I call them. 
you know, cut in, flick, boom, gone. Into the bottom corner, top corner, right? Now, obviously, technical players like Messi, I am doing a review on him, should always be able to score or hit the target, right? And it is about finding the balance, okay? But this is just from a review that we're going to be looking at here. But watch this goal here from Messi, or, yeah, this goal here. Sorry, lads, I'm all over the place. Watch this from Messi here. This is what it was all about before. Little double touch, stop, start, acceleration, and boom, right? So again, we have a look at it here. Little double touch, little stop, double touch, boom, right? That was kind of very difficult to do in the last update of the game that was there, right? Until last Thursday and the Thursday before, they've kind of tweaked that again a little bit. And this is a good example of the current gameplay at the moment, right? That is, if you were to play the game today or tomorrow, right? They have kind of toned down in terms of being able to build up and reward in space a little bit. It's still not back as to where it should need to be and where I'd like to see it go for eFootball24. You'll see it's kind of very chaotic in that when you get a break, you have to defend it very, very aggressively. And then it's all about getting a foot in and getting a chance, right? But then they've also added passing um, and space being rewarded a little bit better with the players' runs. Look at that for a run and a ball in from Nakunku. And then also we talked about the curled shots. We're going to see an absolute banger that I got scored against me um, from some guy as well in a second, right? So the flow of the game, I think, needs to be defined by the speed and it needs to be defined, defined by having multiple attack routes towards goal, right? You're going to see a shot here. I haven't conceded a long-range goal like this in a long time on eFootball 2023 because people wouldn't shoot because they weren't powerful. It's an absolute banger of a goal, right? So I do think that those things are starting to come back a little bit. They're not back as to where they needed to be again. And look, you could still see the chaotic nature of it, but that is an absolute peach of a goal, long-range curler. And those were a dime a dozen when the game first launched. Now, maybe they were too powerful, but I genuinely think that you need to have that balance there that... I was standing off him because I was like, I don't even need to close him down because he's not going to score from there because the gameplay has been like that for weeks. But that is nice that he's keeping me honest by those shots. But it needs to be rewarded. If his, if he, if somebody's going to shoot from there, they need to be rewarded for it, right? So that is one thing that I do like to see and I'd like to see him extend that into eFootball 2024. Like, I want to kind of earn my goals and have space rewarded to me. I don't want it to be, a, a, you know, like... A, a, a mayhem style game where like I just have to boot the ball or like there's three interceptions per attack or whatever way you look at it right I want to be able to earn my my goals and be earned and be you know feel confident in defending right instead of just having this sort of stuff happen where you literally can't really control the ball and that that kind of happens quite a bit right look it, it is going to happen that you're going to concede goals I mean real footballers concede goals as well but when you have the tools at your disposal and you're using those tools or those gameplay mechanisms and they're not working it can be extremely frustrating conceding goals like this you know I think this is probably the best example I can give you. Watch the flow of V1.1 gameplay, right? This is way back with eFootball 22. Watch the difference in the flow. You've got tricks, you've got player runs, you've got responsiveness. You don't have massively aggressive AI making, you know, making defending for you. And we still, like, get a chance here. We recycle possession, we're slow. He's still set at the back, but he's been undone by dribbling. Now, I know people will say here, when we look at this clip, that the defending is, was, was too overpowered. Yeah, and I get that. It's just little flicks and tricks. And if people can't defend, they get absolutely punished. And I get that. You know, if you're coming up against somebody that has played 500 hours of the game and you're getting rinsed like that, it is going to be frustrating. And that creates a skill gap, but it also creates a frustration for newcomers, right? But I do feel like that controls the pace of the game because if this guy's going to rush in, he should get punished, you know? And it's the same with the breakdown of the play that you see here from defense to attack. As I said, this is from eFootball 2022. Lovely tackle from Maldini, but watch how his AI reacts, right? Watch how his AI reacts when he makes a mistake. There's just no catching me. There's no catching Ronaldinho here because he's too much space when he cuts in. There's no home and missile style defending, right? That is very assisted and easy to do at the moment. So let me know your thoughts, lads. I will be back with another video. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, make sure you keep it locked here and subscribed to the channel if you want to see more of this. Let me know your feedback as well and we'll talk about that a little bit later. But yeah. We do have eFootball24 news. Let's see what happens.